Hey guys, in this video, we're going to talk about the toxic effect from iron, which is in a lot of uh, grains, which I know you're not eating, but you probably know people who do. Uh, so what they do with grains like breads, pasta, cereal, they fortify them in the United States, Canada, and Britain, and other countries, but not a lot of the European countries. But anyway, if you're getting exposed to too much iron, it could be a big problem for several reasons. Number one, iron is attracted to damaged tissue in the body. Um, so if you have uh, high levels of insulin and you have uh, inflammation and you have insulin resistance and you have problems with the heart, the brain, uh, the kidneys, for example, the nervous system, well, iron goes into those areas and it oxidizes the tissues, which kind of rusts them out. It just rots them out. Uh, just like in your car, um, you have this rust. Um, so it oxidizes tissues, including the fat layer around the nervous system and the brain as well. Um, so these metals accumulate without the ability to get rid of them. So the problem with excess iron is you can only get rid of like 1.2 milligrams a day, yet people are getting massive quantities on a daily basis. So it's all going to the liver and other tissues. The RDAs or the required amounts that we need to prevent a deficiency would be 8 milligrams. And we do need some iron, uh, food-based, but we don't need too much of it. Um, but a lot of the supplements have like 18 uh, milligrams, 22 milligrams, way too high. Um, and they're doing that to prevent anemia and things like that. But I recommend solving anemia uh, with just red meat or other proteins that will have the natural type of iron in them. Uh, number six, all microbes need iron to survive. Those are good bacteria and microbes and pathogens. They live on iron. So when your body has an infection, it actually will start to regulate iron and tighten up the release of iron from the tissues to try to help the immune system work better. And this is why probiotics are so important because if you have more good bacteria, which will eat more of this iron, this excess, it leaves less for the pathogens. So if you know people, of course not yourself because you're on uh, a no grain diet, if you know people that have excess iron, one of the best ways to eliminate the iron, it's called uh, chelation, which is binding with these, this mineral and pulling it out, um, is called phytic acid. Okay? And the, the type of phytic acid I'm gonna recommend is IP6, it's inositol, hexaphosphate, which is basically one inositol, which is in the family of the B vitamins, and six phosphates connected. It's a very potent antioxidant to prevent the rusting effect of iron. So it will actually help neutralize um, the damage effects of iron and allow it to go through the body. So it inhibits oxidation from iron, and it's a really one of the, probably the most uh, powerful chelators for iron. And one last point I want to bring up, you can get a lot of excess iron if you're consuming large quantities of, of meats okay, and other animal proteins. Um, if you're not consuming enough vegetable and other foods, that can actually cause a buildup of iron too. Because where do we get phytic acid? From the vegetables, from the nuts, from the seeds. Another reason why you need to consume a lot of vegetables with your animal uh, protein. All right, thanks for watching. Hey, I appreciate your attention, and if you're enjoying these videos, go ahead and subscribe, and I will definitely keep you updated on future events, live events, and webinars that we're going to do very soon.